Julie Andrews plays Gertrude Lawrence, the golden girl of the golden age of show business, and London's Dominion Theatre, Tottenham Court Road, is the scene of the royal world premiere. When director Robert Wise and producer Saul Chaplin were asked why they decided on Star as the title, they replied, when you have Julie Andrews playing the most flamboyant stage personality of the century, what else could you call it? <music> President of 20th Century Fox, Darrell Zanuck, and managing director of Fox Distribution, Percy Livingston, were among important executives at the premiere. Chairman of the rank organisation, John Davis, is also president of the charity, which will benefit to the tune of nearly £50,000. Richard Krenner plays Gertrude Lawrence's husband, Richard Aldrich. Carol White and Topol, among a host of society and showbiz personalities, and the seductive Dahlia Lavi. Incidentally, the film is currently being shown in many major cities, from Leeds and Manchester in the north to Portsmouth and Plymouth in the south. Now the arrival of their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Kent. For the Duchess, a salutation from Earl Mountbatten. Unfortunately, work on another film prevented Julie Andrews from attending the premiere, but at least we can hear her voice singing the title song of the film. If the lady's naughty but proper, if the lady's chicer than chic, if her escorts must wear a topper, and each man's the man of the week, if she rides around in a brand new foreign car, the chances are the lady's a Daryl Zanuck's son, Richard, is in charge of worldwide production. In his first film role, Bruce Forsyth plays Gertrude Lawrence's father, the man who put her on the road to becoming a star. Really with tons of Richard Krenner again. Star reunites Julie Andrews with a producer-director team who made Sound of Music. And we all know the success story of that. Finally, the maestro, Noel Coward himself, a lifelong friend of Gertrude Lawrence. Perfectly wonderful. And before they all take their places in the auditorium, a bouquet from young Sally Warmby making her own play for stardom. Thank you.